Hello, I'm Axel Barroso Laguna and I'm going to be presenting matching 2D images in 3D, metric relative pose for metric correspondences, a work done at Niantic with my colleagues Somia, Victor and Eric. Let's imagine we have two images, the reference and the query, and we want to compute the relative pose between them. Following a classical approach, we could find key point correspondences and compute the essential metrics from which we can obtain the relative to rotation and translation. However, that relative pose is sub to scale. We don't know whether those images were taken 1 or 10 meters apart. In this work, we present Miki, a method that computes metric relative poses using only two RGB images. Instead of relying on two D key points, Miki predicts correspondences in 3D, knowing exactly how far apart those two images are. Having metric relative poses enables applications such as augmented reality, where estimating the distance to the AR assets in the real world is needed for a realistic AR experience. So, let's see how we go from RGB images to a metric relative pose. Miki takes two input images independently. And for each image, Miki computes its 3D coordinates in a metric space. Every 3D coordinate has its associated descriptor, which we can use to compute correspondences between the key points. We use correspondences in a ransack loop with a capped solver and obtain the relative pose between the images. Because the 3D coordinates are in a metric space, our relative pose is R2. Miki is supervised only with metric relative poses. Instead of using directly the final key point matches, we reformulate the problem of finding correspondences as a probabilistic approach. We compute the probabilities of a 3D point matching with all the points in the other image. Those probabilities can be used to guide the sampling of the correspondences, so that correspondences with higher probability will be sampled more often. Once a new subset of correspondences is sampled, we apply the capped solver to estimate the relative pose. Since we have the ground truth pose, we can now compute the loss value between the ground truth and the estimated pose. We repeat the sampling over and over and compute all the loss values for each of the generated poses. The idea is that we know which of the poses is closer to the ground truth and then we can use the reinforced algorithm to optimize the network to assign higher probability scores to those correspondences that generate a relative pose closer to the ground truth. So let's see now some examples of Mickey relative poses. In this example, we have two opposing views. We visualize the reference frame in orange and the ground truth pose in green. Now, we show the 3D key point correspondences that Miki establishes and its pose estimate in blue. By supervising only with the pose, we allow Miki to propose any correspondences that give a valid pose. We don't apply any restriction to the key point matches, and therefore it doesn't matter if such correspondences actually share any visual overlap. We observe that this is a unique behavior, and other competitors struggle with this kind of example. To illustrate this a bit further, we show the matches that Miki and other state-of-the-art methods propose when given these two images here. We see that Miki behaves differently from the other methods, where instead of relying on the letters of the wall, Miki reasons about the images and the shape of the objects. One important characteristic of our method is its ability to inform whether an estimate camera pose is valid or not. During training, Miki also optimizes a confidence estimate. We see that Miki is able to separate solvable and unsolvable cases. To sum up, Miki computes metric relative poses from two RGB images. Miki only requires metric relative poses for training, making it very easy to train in new domains. Thank you all for listening. You can visit our webpage project for more examples experiments and access to the code.